And Fury signings have Melbourne. Roselle Ellis left Australian shores today, bound for stints in Europe and Asia. The American pair are best mates, but are also extremely competitive. At the start of the season, they even waged a bet to see who could rack up the most slam dunks. Roselle laid down the dunking jewel. I said, let's put some money up. Winner gets $1,000. So which American racked up the most? Roselle beat me. <laughs> yes, I did. 7 12, I believe the count was. Homicide blames a one game absence. That's the only reason it really got that far out. When I had to go to New York, wah, 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 he, go, he got two more dunks and it got out of reach. And how about the dunk that he missed in New Zealand? That should be minus two dunks. If you check the highlights, he clipped my leg. Coach agreed. Wah, Coach wah, agreed he clipped wah, my leg. Wah, wah. Yeah, we hear you talking, bro. Williams could talk for hours about his best slam of the season. Come straight down the middle and went to the right a little bit in the paint. Bow! That was the best dunk for sure. Most memorable, the Perth Perler. That was a classic moment in NBL history. The way I taunt. In terms of taunting a crowd and disrespecting a crowd, that's definitely top three I know for sure. Alice, a little more humble, found it difficult to single out just one. Yeah, I had a good one against the Sydney Spirit. I put a guy in the basket pretty good. But that reverse is nice, too. But I have 12 to pick from. As for the $1,000 cash? Uh, well, I'll share a little bit with him. We're going to put it on the bar somewhere. Yeah. A parting drink before they leave Australian shores, Williams will return to the streets of New York. That's what I do. I am street ball. Alice is off to the Philippines. It is really good over there, you know? I get all my clothes tailor-made. I have two maids, a driver to drive me around, so all I have to do is play basketball. So I'm living like a king. Liam Cox, 7 News.